This is the Zenfone Max Plus. This thing came out the very tail end of 2017, so it is fairly new. Let's do a little 360 and check this stuff out before we get into anything. You do still have a 3.5mm headphone jack, and that's saying a lot because a lot of manufacturers are getting rid of theirs. On this side, you have a SIM card tray, but the SIM card tray is not any normal one. It actually has dual SIM with an SD card slot, and you don't have to sacrifice one or the other. On the bottom, you have dual speakers with a micro USB. We're not sure why they went with micro over USB-C because even older phones of theirs are using USB-C. The back has the fingerprint sensor, dual cameras, and a flash. On this side, you have the volume up and down and the power button. It's very nicely designed and the screen is super, super high body to screen ratio, meaning that it's basically what they're boasting this as is a 5.7 inch screen in a 5.2 inch body. We just so happen to have an example of that. This is the Zenfone Max Plus and on the right here is the Zenfone Max 3. They're roughly the same size. This would have to be probably two millimeters shorter, but this is a 5.2 and this is a 5.7. So just to show you on here, look at that. That's fairly that's fairly substantial. So they kind of pulled a Sony here by saying the screen is 5.7 inches and that's great but they have the back home and more button uh, on the screen when I kind of would have liked to see it on the bezel down here. That's okay because as you go to for example settings or something you see this little down arrow. You can press that and that gets rid of it so now you're left with nothing but screen when you're in apps. Uh, to bring it back up obviously you just swipe up. You can go into dual screen mode, multi window, yeah, so we can go like settings and we can long press and go to Google Chrome. So now we're on Google and we can go, oh, it was already there, Wikipedia. And you know, I can have my notepad over here. And you know, dual screen works on a phone like this. It doesn't really work on a tiny phone like the Max 3, which we just have here and for comparison purposes, kind of in and out. But uh, it, it, it gets the job done, dual screen on uh, small phones. And the 80% screen to body ratio certainly helps that you're not left with these gigantic bezels because dual screen on that wouldn't really make, you know, it's not really feasible. The camera is basically one of the main selling features of this device. Uh, it is running two cameras on the back uh, and they're separate lenses so actually I'm covering one of the cameras right now but not only until you cover the top one is it actually um, going to block it. And why this is is because you have normal lens and they actually outfit this device with a wide angle lens which fills the screen which is fantastic. From there you do have some zooming capabilities, a little bit optical, a whole lot digital and um, you obviously have the record button to film videos on either mode so that's always really cool. Uh, you do have a lot of different settings on here as well as you have Pro which I really like because Pro allows you to change things like white balance, iris, shutter speed, uh, things that a lot of cameras will not allow you to do. So this thing is like, it's super, super user customizable, but um, Pro version, I will warn you, is not just point and click for like Instagram food. This thing is uh, definitely for professional users. We got to show you guys reading, of course, we are goodyreader.com. So on this, this is the Kindle app. You do have all the same functionality you would on basically any Kindle app. We're just showing you what the screen is basically capable of. So you have text size, line spacing, uh, margins. You can go wide margins and, uh, sorry, narrow margins. Kind of fill that screen a little bit. There's always gonna be a little bit of white on the app. It's just the nature of the app, but it performs very nicely. It's very crisp, it's very quick, of course, as it should be because this is, you know, a 2017, 2018 kind of model. So uh, we're just gonna look at some manga real quick here and just give you guys an idea of what pinching and zooming looks like. No, you don't have an infinite pinching and zooming. 
uh, nor do you have a panel a guided view panel by panel because that's only on uh, graphic novels and this is technically Japanese manga you can see that that was a uh, this was a sample because uh, we didn't buy the whole thing this is just a sample to show you guys on review videos if we do go to uh, an actual graphic novel yes yes we all know how to do it now we have the ability to go guided view so we pick a nice tall photo like that and now your cell by cell you can kind of swap it around and go you know panel by panel hence the name pan, uh, guided view so it'll guide you around you can go to the full view and pinch and zoom and say oh why why don't you go ahead and open the door you know you can really zoom in on that and see what's going on there of course we're going to show you um, our own app uh, an app of our own creation uh, audiobook reader by goody reader so we'll just press the um, uh, text-to-speech and we'll choose Joanna of course although you do have uh, 20 plus 30 plus languages here uh, with multiple males and females of each language, so... How that personage haunted my dreams, I need scarcely tell you. On stormy nights, when the wind shook the four corners of the house and the surf roared along the... So, that's basically what this app is, and you can watch YouTube um, for the information on this app, but basically turns any ebook into an audiobook. So, uh, hence the name Audiobook Reader, you can sideload in your own stuff, and it does come with preloaded content as well, but we just kind of wanted to show audiobooks, seeing that we're on a multimedia device. So all in all, this phone, it, it's all there. I mean, the specs are there. It's it, it's it's up to today's standards. The screen, screen to body ratio is fantastic. This is the one we're talking about right here. So just so you guys can follow along. Um, only two real things that I have problems with on this phone is uh, the fact that they have no USB-C. It's a USB micro, which doesn't really make sense because older stuff had USB-C on it. And also, uh, this has a much smaller battery than some of their other, other products, but I guess I'm just spoiled by my Zen phone 3 zoom this one has a 40 100 milliamp battery but they've made again things in the past that are the same thickness older with a 5000 milliamp battery other than that that's just nitpicking the phone is great it's uh if you're just catching us now it's basically a 5.7 inch screen in a 5.2 um, body it's fantastic uh, highly recommended this was sent to us for review so we are very much um, thankful thankful for that and if you guys need any questions on how to purchase this drop us a line drop us a comment if you think this review was great if you think this review sucked just drop a comment down below we'd always love to hear from you positive or negative we're here to help for goodyreader.com this is peter